Good evening everyone, Ben Phillips with Standard Aquatics. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be episode 3 of our series, Find the Error, Fix the Error. A series where I demonstrate several errors while providing care for adult, child, or infant victims in hopes that you, the viewer, will be able to spot those errors and after spotting them, provide both positive and corrective feedback. Okay, this is done in hopes that it will help increase the level of training across the nation within American Red Cross instructors and instructor trainers, but also helping to fine tune the critical eye of our instructors nationwide. So, I want to get into last episode, episode two, where I was providing care for a conscious choking infant. Shout out to Roscoe Bosco, a viewer who actually spotted three of the four errors that were made. He mentioned that there were no gloves used, the infant was not on a downward angle, and there's no need to be checking inside the victim's mouth while simul between your back blows and chest thrusts, unless we're doing care for an unconscious victim. Okay, so basically, I find that a lot of individuals rush into this type of a scenario and they quick t they're quick to take the infant from the person that's holding them without putting on their gloves. Make sure we're reminding our students that they must wear PPE at any time they're providing care. The other thing is, I find it often that individuals are forgetting to have that downward angle or positioning that baby at an angle towards the ground, thereby allowing gravity to kind of help do some of that work. The last thing that I find a little bit surprising is people are, across the nation, individuals are looking in the mouth before they even go into their chest thrusts. So between back blows and chest thrusts, they're looking in the mouth for what reason or what habit, I'm not sure why they're doing it. Um, but we need to get them out of that habit. We need to break that habit in our students nationwide. So make sure you're telling them there's no need to look in the mouth unless we're dealing with an unconscious situation. The last and final error that was not caught is the orientation of where you place your hands or your fingers when doing those chest thrusts. Now if you look in the manual, both the lifeguard manual, check out the skill sheet, or the lifeguard instructor's manual, if you look at the skill assessment tool, then you will find that the fingers, your two fingers, whichever two fingers you use, should be in line with the breastbone. In line with the breastbone. And I've got an infant here so I can show you guys. What we want is to see that the two fingers are in line with the breastbone, this breastbone right here. So they're in line, right? Going straight like this, right? What you saw in my video was my two fingers were actually perpendicular to this breastbone, right? They were perpendicular to this breastbone, going like this. And if you look at your skill assessment tool in the lifeguard instructor's manual, you'll find that a student who does such a performance is actually not proficient. They should receive corrective feedback and they should also be given the chance to try that skill again so that they can meet proficiency. Now, I want to get into episode three skills. Again, shout out to Roscoe Bosco for figuring out the three of the four errors. Make sure you guys leave your errors in the comment below for this video and that you also provide both the positive and corrective feedback, right? I did give five back blows, I did give five chest thrusts. I had some things I needed corrections, but I had the right ratios in my head. So the next thing I wanna do is work on a victim who's unconscious, this is gonna be an adult victim. We're gonna be doing CPR for the obstructed airway on an unconscious adult. To set this scenario up, basically I was providing care for a victim who was conscious, they went unconscious and they're on the ground. So I'm in the middle of care. You'll actually see me putting on my gloves on, in the video, but let's just pretend I'm in the middle of care for this scenario. You will not see a primary assessment to start this session off. We're in the middle of care. This victim was standing upright, conscious, and they went unconscious. So we're gonna go and relocate you guys quickly so that you can get a better visual of our scenario and our scene. All right, here we are. Let's get some gloves on. So like I stated, this is gonna be episode number three. Find the error, fix the error. I'm looking for you guys to make sure you leave your comments down below and let us know what you think. What did you find? What were the good things? What were the things that needed improvement? Let's get all of our fingers in there. We'll start with our 30 compressions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Looking at the mouth, I don't see an object. I'm gonna go ahead and do a finger sweep. Can't reach anything. Take off my triangle mask. Put it on my face. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Looking at the map, I see an object this time. Finger sweep, get that object out. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand, seven one thousand, eight one thousand, nine one thousand, ten one thousand. All right, guys, that is episode three. Find the error, fix the error. I'm looking for you guys to spot those errors, whatever errors were made, and provide both positive and corrective feedback. Right? Provide those that feedback in the comments below. Let us know what you found. Again, we're hopefully helping develop critical eye across the nation, also developing awareness and lifeguards in themselves and their little um, things that they might be making mistakes on. Um, but we would look forward to you guys to provide that information down below. You can shoot us an email if you'd like to send us some requests at standardaquatics at gmail.com. Okay? You can reach out to us there or you can just reach out to us in the links in these videos. The other thing I'd like to ask you guys to do is to try checking out the web browser Brave. Brave is an awesome browser. It's lightning fast. It actually blocks ads and doesn't track your location. It stops other websites from tracking your location and it stops them from actually advertising to you things that maybe you were searching last week or whatever. It's a very good browser, very quick, um, but if you actually try them out for 30 days, they will donate to us $7. So uh, we want to keep this channel hopefully non-monetized and hopes that we can use the Brave web browser earnings to help do that. Anyhow, this has been a great one. Ben Phillips of Standard Aquatics. Drop your comments in the link below. Shoot us an email if you have questions. We'd love to be able to assist you guys with your training programs across the nation. Thanks for stopping by.